And that's just about all, really, except for this next bit, which I had nothing to do with, so don't blame me. It's a compilation put together by the Film 98 team of what you might call my own journey to the beginning of Film 72. You've met every star, you know, under the sun. Who's, Who's, your, fave? Fave? Who's your fave? Who's my favourite? Yeah. Who's my favourite? I don't have favourite. Is this superstardom you now have, is this going to change your life at all? No, dear, I've had my change of life. There's a malicious rumour going about that Lillian Gish is 78. I don't believe a word of it. It's not true. <laughs> it isn't true. I'm not that old. I didn't think it could be. No, no. I I'm, shan't I'm as old as I look. Well, how goodness me, that's a child yet. <laughs> well, that's, that's all from this edition of Film 75, and indeed from this series. We hope to be returning in the autumn with another series, which will be called, surprise, surprise, Film 79, and which will, of course, be four years ahead of its time. So until then, it's good night from me, and it's good night from him. I really didn't fancy you as a woman. Why not? Not my type. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> what, what, what specifically? My body, my face, my, well, my nose. You look, you look like my auntie. Well, thank you. <laughs> you do give the impression of being a very enigmatic person. I mean, it's, it's very rare to find you in a situation like this, for instance. Why are you doing it now? In fact, I have to go. <laughs> I mean, ob obsession in, in any individual, um, if the dog will let me con con conclude this sentence, is, is always fascinating. We're, we're talking now about preserving animals, but right now we're talking about shooting this dog in the background. <laughs> What's your status at the moment in the movie industry? Are, are you hot? I'm What's unemployable, hot? actually. I can't get a deal. You think I would have done this if I could have gotten a real job? Forget it. Seriously? I'm dead serious. Really? <laughs> <laughs> do that again. Take two. <laughs> Turn this around. We want to see no, that. No, really? No way. Do the really. I want to see that. There are two lobbies. There's the pro cost and the lobby, and there's the anti cost and the lobby. What's um, that mean? Anti? Well, what would, who would lobby well, against me let, about let, what? Let, 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 me, let me explain. I'm dying hey. to hear this. <laughs> I was going to ask you about the disadvantages as well as the advantages of, of being married to Tom Cruise. Do you actually have to Well, the advantage is I get to go to bed with Tom Cruise every night. Since Coppola was the, was the producer, did he interfere much? Interfere? What am I going to say? Francis? I'm sorry, what have you ever done? How dare you? <laughs> Interfering on a Kevin Brannigan movie here? How dare you? I get friends in England. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. You've got two films down here. You've got um, an awfully big adventure in the director's fortnight. Yes. And the Englishman who went up the hill in a set down with a guard. Uh, that's not bad, is it? I mean, you, are you enjoying what, your French accent? No, <laughs> no, my, my French accent is lousy. <laughs> I could leave here and, and you know, no, I won't say I'd get killed in a car wreck, but you know, I could leave, I could leave here and, and uh, suffer a shoulder injury that would make it hard to get up out of bed every morning. We know, we know how that works. Right now, I don't have anything like that, so I do consider myself to be very lucky. It's a nice note to end on. Thank you very much indeed. What, the car crash then? <laughs> no, considering yourself very lucky. Oh, okay, very good, all right. We'll, we'll end with the car crash if you prefer it. No, 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 whatever you want to do, whatever you think is best for your, for your viewers. And we have an Australian film, Mr. Reliable. Good evening. And talking of Mr. Reliable, your, own, your very own Mr. Reliable himself, Bazza Norman, is here once again. A spurious tale of a lone American hero, Woody Harrelson, daringly rescued from behind Albanian lines. In detail, as well as outline, this turns out to be an uncannily prescient idea. Do we have to have that thing floating about behind me? Be that as it may, let bygones be bygones and let Cecil be to build. What is there to say about a man who's seen them all, from Ava Gardner to Jean Jean Gabor? To meet you, I just have to make a movie. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I just got to go out, go out and spend like sixty-five million dollars. Yeah, that's, that's all. That's so, all it takes. So you're the sixty-five Steven. million dollar man. That's Absolutely. What it takes for a meeting with you. <laughs> Look at you. I mean, I'm delighted to be talking to you. Well, I'm delighted to be talking to you, but I mean, that's. I am, I'm afraid. Yes. yes. Good evening, or rather where you are, good morning, and welcome to the 70th Oscar celebrations here at the Shrine Auditorium in downtown Los Angeles. BBC, Barry Norman, I can't believe it. Barry Norman's here. This is it, BBC, Barry Norman at the Oscars. It's always a bit Des O'Connor. What's life like at the BBC, really, Barry? Come on. Uh, is this off the record? Off the record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's bliss. It's absolute bliss at the BBC. Would I lie to Bruce Willis? You know, it's very unnerving to watch all your yesterdays flashing before your eyes like that. And there have been a lot of yesterdays because I've spent more than a quarter of this century sitting here talking about films. I've enjoyed it immensely and I hope that at least some of the time you have too. So as I head off for past is new, now it's okay. Now you can let the tears flow unchecked. 
I'll probably shed a couple myself as, for the very last time, I bow myself out to the accompaniment of Billy Taylor and the best theme tune on television. My thanks to you for watching and to all the talented people who have, over the years, made this a pretty damn good programme. Goodbye.